In this video, we're going to talk about acquaintance graphs. These, this was mentioned in video one of this series. Um, and the idea is, is that when you have social networking, or it doesn't have to be social networking, uh, many different scenarios, work, employees, you know, family groups, etc., form a network where each person um, is connected to people that they maybe work with, or maybe a doctor is connected with their patients, or this could be Facebook and you're connected with your friends. There are many different uses of this. Um, and this is, can be called an acquaintance graph because it's showing who you are acquainted with or who you have a relationship in some particular way. Okay, so here we have a question. It says, is it possible in a group of nine people for each to be friends with exactly five others? Well, that's an interesting question. And to solve it, I think we should start by constructing an acquaintance graph. Where each of these nine people is represented by a vertex and each friendship by an edge. So we want to construct an acquaint. I always spell these wrong. Okay, so there's nine people in our in this group. I'm going to do this as a grid of three by three. And the idea is, is we want each one of these people to be connected to exactly five others. So let's give it a try. Starting in the upper left-hand corner, this guy can be friends. One, two, three, four, um, five people. We have five people. Let's keep going. Um, I'm going to go to one of these next one. There's two, three, four, five. So now this middle one has a five acquaintance or degree of five. Over here we can connect one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so this is going pretty well. I think we, we may be on to something. But if you keep going, one, two, three, four, you're gonna notice this now has five. That's not gonna work. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Now we can't go back to that middle point because from this point over here on the side, because that middle point already has five. Okay, so I'm gonna come down here instead. And somewhere else, maybe that one. Okay, so now we have five here. Okay, I'm on the final row. I'm going to start over on the bottom left-hand corner. I've got three, four, five. Yay, that worked pretty well. And then here in the middle, bottom middle, I have one, two, three, four. Connect it to a five. Well, that's great. But over here in this bottom right-hand corner, there's only it's only connected to four. And it's going to turn out that no matter what you do, you cannot connect it to one more without changing one of the other fives. So you see how that won't work? So if I, if I were to draw a line, for example, to this middle one, now that middle one would have six. If I was to draw a line to a different one, now that different one would have six, right? And that's not going to work. So we're stuck. But the question is, did I just do this wrong? Is there a better way of doing it? And the answer to that is no. It's actually impossible for a group of nine people for each of them to be friends with exactly five others. And so that's what we're going to do next. We're going to prove that. So 
So why don't you take a minute and see if you can think of a proof or a reason why or how I can prove this. Well, the way I'm going to do it is via contradiction. So the idea is The idea is going to come down to some of that notion we talked about degree and the total degree of a graph, right? So to do a proof by contradiction, we're going to suppose the opposite. Suppose um, this is possible. And we conduct and we create the acquaintance graph we talked about. Okay. If each person were friends with exactly five others, then the total degree of the graph would be what? Well, we've got nine people and each of them has five friends. So nine times five is equal to 45. That would be the degree because as you recall here, we were drawing it where for each vertex, we want the degree to be five. So the degree would be 45. Well, how many edges would that be? Remember the rule? Well, that there's half of that many edges, right? Because the degree, each edge brings a degree of two. And so how many edges is that? Turns out it's 22 and a half edges. Is that gonna work? That's not gonna work. And that's really the crux of this proof. Um, and we can, you know, we can say that means that number of edges, or we can approach this and say um, that this is an odd number. 45 is an odd number, um, and that's not allowed. We know that the degree of a graph is always even. We proved that in a previous video. And the reason is, again, because the, each edge brings a degree of two. So it's odd and no. So we, we know the degree of any graph is even which means we cannot construct this graph. Here's a contradiction. And what that means is this situation cannot exist. Okay, and that's really interesting because when you first saw this problem, I bet you thought to yourself, oh, well, that's easy enough. Of course we can do that. But we can't, and we can prove that we can't. 